Pranab Kumar Mukherjee born the 11th of December 1935, is an Indian politician who served as the 13th President of India from 2012 until 2017. In a political career spanning five decades, Mukherjee has been a senior leader in the Indian National Congress and has occupied several ministerial portfolios in the Government of India. Prior to his election as President, Mukherjee was Union Finance Minister from 2009 to 2012. Mukherjee got his break in politics in 1969 when Prime Minister Indira Gandhi helped him get elected to the Rajya Sabha, the Upper House of Parliament of India, on a Congress ticket. Following a meteoric rise, he became one of Gandhi's most trusted lieutenants and a minister in her cabinet by 1973. During the controversial internal emergency of 1975-77, he was accused like several other Congress leaders, of committing gross excesses. Mukherjee's service in a number of ministerial capacities culminated in his first stint as finance minister in 1982-84. Pranab Mukherjee was also leader of the House in the Rajya Sabha from 1980 to 1985. Mukherjee was sidelined from the Congress during the premiership of Rajiv Gandhi, Indira Gandhi's son. Mukherjee had viewed himself and not the inexperienced Rajiv, as the rightful successor to Indira following her assassination in 1984. Mukherjee lost out in the ensuing power struggle. He formed his own party, the Rashtriya Samajwadi Congress, which merged with the Congress in 1989 after reaching a consensus with Rajiv Gandhi. After Rajiv Gandhi's assassination in 1991, Mukherjee's political career revived when Prime Minister P. V. Narasimha Rao appointed him Planning Commission head in 1991 and Foreign Minister in 1995. Following this, as elder statesman of the Congress, Mukherjee was the principal and architect of Sonia Gandhi's ascension to the party's presidency in 1998. When the Congress-led United Progressive Alliance UPA came into power in 2004, Mukherjee won a Lok Sabha the popularly elected lower house of parliament seat for the first time. From then until his resignation in 2012, Mukherjee was practically number two in Prime Minister Manmohan Singh's government. He held a number of key cabinet portfolios: Defence (2004–06), External Affairs (2006–09), and Finance (2009–12). Apart from heading several groups of ministers (GAMs) and being leader of the House in the Lok Sabha. After securing the UPA's nomination for the country's presidency in July 2012, Mukherjee comfortably defeated P. A. Sangma in the race to Rashtrapati Bhavan, winning 70% of the electoral college vote. In 2017, Mukherjee decided not to run for re-election and to retire from politics after leaving the presidency due to health complications relating to old age. His term expired on 25 July 2017. He was succeeded as president by Ram Nath Kovan. In June 2018 Mukherjee became first former president of India to address a Rashtriya Swayamsevak Sangh event. Topic Early life and career Pranab was born in a Bengali Kulin Brahmin family in Marathi, a village in the Bengal Presidency of British India now in Burbham District, West Bengal, India. His father, Kamada Kinkar Mukherjee was active in the Indian independence movement and was a member of West Bengal Legislative Council between 1952 and 1964 as a representative of the Indian National Congress and was the member of AICC. His mother was Rajlakshmi Mukherjee. He attended the Suri Vidyasagar College in Suri, Burbham, then affiliated to University of Calcutta. He subsequently earned an MA degree in Political Science and History and also an LL.B. degree both from University of Calcutta. He was an upper division clerk in the office of the Deputy Accountant General, Post and Telegraph in Calcutta. In 1963, he became lecturer assistant professor teaching political science at the Vidyanagar College in South 24 Parganas and he also worked as a journalist with the Desher Doc Call of Motherland before entering politics. <laughs> Early political career Mukherjee's political career began in 1969, when he managed the successful Midnapore by-election campaign of an independent candidate, V. K. Krishna Menon. Then Prime Minister of India, Indira Gandhi, recognized Mukherjee's talents and recruited him to her party, the Indian National Congress. He became a member of the Rajya Sabha the Upper House of Indian Parliament in July 1969. 
Mukherjee was re-elected to the House in 1975, 1981, 1993 and 1999. Mukherjee became a Gandhi loyalist and is often described as his man for all seasons. Mukherjee's rise was rapid in the early phase of his career and he was appointed Union Deputy Minister of Industrial Development in Indira Gandhi's cabinet in 1973. Mukherjee was active in the Indian cabinet during the controversial internal emergency of 1975-77. Ruling Congress politicians of the day including Mukherjee were accused of using extra constitutional powers to wreck established norms and rules of governance. Following the Congress's defeat in the 1977 general elections, the newly formed Janata government appointed Shah Commission indicted Mukherjee, however, the commission was itself later indicted for stepping outside its jurisdiction in 1979. Mukherjee emerged unscathed and rose through a series of cabinet posts to become finance minister from 1982 to 1984. His term was noted for his work in improving the finances of the government that enabled Gandhi to score a political point by returning the last installment of India's first IMF loan. As finance minister, Mukherjee signed the letter appointing Manmohan Singh as governor of the Reserve Bank of India. In 1979, Mukherjee became deputy leader of the INC in the Rajya Sabha, and in 1980 he was appointed leader of the House. Mukherjee was considered the top-ranking Indian cabinet minister and he presided over cabinet meetings in the absence of the Prime Minister. Mukherjee was sidelined from the INC following the assassination of Indira Gandhi. Although Mukherjee was much more experienced in politics than Indira's son, Rajiv Gandhi, it was Rajiv who gained control. Mukherjee lost his position in the cabinet and was sent to manage the regional West Bengal Pradesh Congress Committee. He was considered to be Indira's likely successor and, siding with those within his party who aligned themselves against Rajiv Gandhi, Mukherjee was sidelined and eventually expelled from the mainstream. In 1986, Mukherjee founded another party, the Rashtriya Samajwadi Congress, RSC, in West Bengal. The RSC and Inc. merged three years later after reaching a compromise with Rajiv Gandhi. The RSC had fared terribly in the 1987 assembly polls in West Bengal. Many analysts, over the years, have attributed the muting of Mukherjee's political aspirations as the supreme leader due to his inability to emerge as a magnetic mass leader. On later being asked that did he ever desire to become prime minister, Mukherjee, however, replied, 7 RCR was never my destination. The Z News noted. The statement assumes heft in the light of the long-standing speculation that Mukherjee, as one of the doyens of Congress, always nursed an ambition to occupy the top executive post. Mukherjee's political career revived following assassination of Rajiv Gandhi in 1991 when P. V. Narasimha Rao chose to appoint him as deputy chairman of the Indian Planning Commission and subsequently as a union cabinet minister. Mukherjee served as external affairs minister for the first time from 1995 to 1996 in Rao's cabinet. Mukherjee today is considered to be a Gandhi family loyalist and the principal architect of Sonia Gandhi's entry into politics, a mentoring responsibility he is still believed to be shouldering. He was made general secretary of the AICC in 1998-99 after Sonia Gandhi became Congress president. Mukherjee was made president of the West Bengal Congress in 2000 and held the position until his resignation in 2010. He had earlier held the position in 1985. Mukherjee became leader of the House in the Lok Sabha in 2004. He contested and won a Lok Sabha seat from Janjapur in West Bengal, which he would later retain in 2009. It was speculated in 2004 that Mukherjee would be made Prime Minister of India after Sonia Gandhi unexpectedly declined the position. However, Gandhi eventually nominated Manmohan Singh to become Prime Minister. Mukherjee was briefly considered for the post of the largely ceremonial Indian presidency in 2007, but his name was subsequently dropped after his contribution in the Union Cabinet was considered practically indispensable. Mukherjee held many important posts in the Manmohan Singh government. He had the distinction of being the minister for various high profile ministries, including defence, finance, and external affairs. Mukherjee also headed the Congress Parliamentary Party and the Congress Legislative Party which consists of all the Congress MPs and MLAs in the country apart from being leader of the House in Lok Sabha and Bengal Pradesh Congress Committee President. Mukherjee ended his affiliation with the Indian National Congress and retired from active political life following his election as President in 2012. 
The Economic Times had noted, the decades of activity in critical all-round roles make Mukherjee's exit both a structural and generation shift. With him, the last of the Congress triumvirate, along with Rao and R. Venkataraman, who formed the core team of Indira, Rajiv regimes bows out. While Rao became PM, Pranab's political marathon two ends where Venkataramans did, at the Rashtrapati Bhavan. Political party role Pranab Mukherjee is very well respected within the party social circles. Media accounts describe him as having a reputation as a number crunching politician with a phenomenal memory and an unerring survival instinct. Mukherjee became a member of the Congress Working Committee on 27 January 1978. He also became a member of the Central Parliamentary Board of the All India Congress Committee AICC that year. Mukherjee briefly held the position of treasurer of the AICC and the Congress Party in 1978. Mukherjee was appointed chairman of the Campaign Committee of AICC for conducting national elections to parliament in 1984, 1991, 1996 and 1998. He was chairman of the Central Election Coordination Committee of the AICC from 28 June 1999 to 2012. He was appointed to the Central Election Committee on 12 December 2001. Mukherjee was appointed General Secretary of the AICC in 1998. In 1997 Mukherjee was voted outstanding parliamentarian by the Indian Parliamentary Group. After Sonia Gandhi reluctantly agreed to join politics, Mukherjee was one of her mentors, guiding her through difficult situations with examples of how her mother-in-law, Indira Gandhi would have done things. His talents were on display during the negotiations for the Patents Amendment Bill in early 2005. The Congress was committed to passing an IP bill, but their allies in the United Progressive Alliance from the Left Front had a long tradition of opposing some of the monopoly aspects of intellectual property. Pranab Mukherjee, as defense minister, was not formally involved but was roped in for his negotiation skills. He drew on many old alliances including the CPIM leader Jyoti Basu, former chief minister of West Bengal, and formed new intermediary positions, which included product patent and little else. Then he had to convince his own colleagues including Commerce Minister Kamal Nath, at one point saying, An imperfect legislation is better than no legislation finally the bill was approved on the 23rd of march 2005 india today wrote that mukherjee's role in skillfully pushing through the historic 123 agreement and treaty with the nuclear suppliers group may have saved upa 2 government from the 2008 motion of no confidence mukherjee played a crucial role in steering the cabinet pre lok sabha elections when prime minister manmohan singh underwent a bypass surgery in 2008-09 by taking additional charges as chairman of the cabinet committee of political affairs and union minister in finance ministry despite already being union minister of external affairs mukherjee was the recipient of the best administrator in india award in 2011 Prime Minister Manmohan Singh commented, Mr. Mukherjee's knowledge of parliamentary matters was stupendous. The wide respect he commanded and his long association with the political leaders across the spectrum had proved invaluable in conducting the parliamentary business. Mukherjee's political skills and long experience in government have also led him to heading a large number of committees of ministers in the government, a device that has been employed to obtain consensus within the members of the governing coalition on contentious issues. At the time of his resignation on being nominated as the UPA's presidential candidate, Mukherjee was heading several groups of ministers GOMs, and empowered groups of ministers EGOMs. Government offices Defense Minister Manmohan Singh appointed Mukherjee as the Minister of Defense of India when the Congress came to power in 2004. Mukherjee held the post until 2006. He expanded cooperation with the United States during his tenure. The Times of India reported on the WikiLeaks cable's release and noted how, quote, United States is full of praise for the uniformed leadership of Indian armed forces, especially Navy, as well as ministers like Mukherjee. 
Mukherjee in June 2005 had inked the 10-year Indo-US defense framework deal. Despite increasing cooperation with the United States, Mukherjee maintained that Russia will remain India's topmost defense partner. He asserted that Russia has been and will remain India's largest defense partner in the years to come. While inaugurating the fifth session of the Indo-Russian Intergovernmental Commission on Military Technical Cooperation in Moscow in 2005, Russia held the first joint anti-terror war games with India in Rajasthan in October 2005, during which Mukherjee and Russian Defense Minister Sergei Ivanov narrowly escaped injury after a heavy mortar landed several meters from their platform. The Russian ministry subsequently declared its hopes to follow up joint military exercises in India with further joint exercises on Russian territory. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Foreign Minister. Mukherjee was appointed the External Affairs Minister of India in 1995. Under his leadership, India was made full dialogue partner of ASEAN as part of the Look East foreign policy initiated by Narasimha Rao. Mukherjee left the position in 1996. Mukherjee's second term began in 2006. He oversaw the successful signing of the U.S.-India Civil Nuclear Agreement with the U.S. government and then with the Nuclear Suppliers Group, allowing India to participate in civilian nuclear trade in spite of not having signed the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty. Mukherjee played a crucial role in mobilizing world opinion against Pakistan after the 2008 Mumbai attacks. He left the position a year later to take over the Finance Ministry of India. When asked what legacy he wanted to leave behind as Foreign Minister of India, Mukherjee replied, as the man who prepared Indian diplomacy to address the challenges of a more globalized, interdependent and uncertain world. Topic. Commerce Minister Mukherjee has thrice served as Commerce Minister of India. His first stints were in the Indira Gandhi government from 1980–82 and again in 1984. His third stint in the 1990s saw him contribute significantly to the negotiations leading to the establishment of the World Trade Organization. Finance Minister. Pranab Mukherjee's first stint as the Finance Minister of India was during the Indira Gandhi government in 1982. He presented his first annual budget in 1982–83. Mukherjee's first term was noted for his work in improving the finances of the government and for successfully returning the last installment of India's first IMF loan. Mukherjee signed the letter appointing Manmohan Singh as the Governor of the Reserve Bank of India in 1982. Mukherjee was accused of patronage practices in the Ambani Wadia industrial feuds. Mukherjee was credited with being an early reformer of the Indian economy. India Today wrote, Operation Forward, which Mukherjee and then Industries Minister Charanjit Shanana launched in the early 1980s, started the liberalisation process that flowered under Rao and Manmohan Singh. A left wing magazine once commented that, Socialism did not grow out of the pipe Mukherjee smoked. Mukherjee was removed from his position as finance minister by Rajiv Gandhi in 1984. Gandhi had wished to bring in his own team of staff to govern India. Mukherjee was removed from his position even though he was rated as the best finance minister in the world that year according to a survey of Euromoney magazine. Mukherjee returned to handling the finance of India during the premiership of Narasimha Rao. He was appointed the deputy chairman of the planning commission. Since the Prime Minister of India happens to be the ex officio chairperson of Planning Commission of India, the position of the deputy chairperson has great significance. During Mukherjee's tenure 1991-96, Dr. Manmohan Singh as Finance Minister oversaw many economic reforms to end the license Raj system and help open the Indian economy. Mukherjee again became the Finance Minister of India in 2009. He presented the annual budgets in 2009, 2010 and 2011. The 2010-11 budget included the country's first explicit target to cut public debt as a proportion of GDP and Mukherjee had targeted a budget deficit reduction to 4.1% of GDP in fiscal year 2012-13, from 6.5% in 2008-09, Mukherjee implemented many tax reforms. He scrapped the fringe benefits tax and the commodities transaction tax. 
He implemented the goods and services tax during his tenure. These reforms were well received by major corporate executives and economists. The introduction of retrospective taxation by Mukherjee, however, has been criticized by some economists. Mukherjee expanded funding for several social sector schemes including the Jawaharlal Nehru National Urban Renewal Mission. He also supported budget increases for improving literacy and health care. He expanded infrastructure programs such as the National Highway Development Program. Electricity coverage was also expanded during his tenure. Mukherjee also reaffirmed his commitment to the principle of fiscal prudence as some economists expressed concern about the rising fiscal defits during his tenure, the highest since 1991. Mukherjee declared the expansion in government spending was only temporary. In 2010 Mukherjee was awarded Finance Minister of the Year for Asia by Emerging Markets, the daily newspaper of record for the World Bank and the International Monetary Fund IMF. Mukherjee was praised for the confidence he has inspired in key stakeholders, by virtue of his fuel price reforms, fiscal transparency and inclusive growth strategies." The banker also recognized him as, "...finance minister of the year." The final years of Mukherjee in the finance ministry were not considered a success. The NDTV upon his resignation as finance minister in June 2012 wrote, There had been a clamor from many quarters for a change in the finance ministry, with Mr. Mukherjee having faced flack for several decisions where politics seemed to overwhelm economic imperatives. Other positions Mukherjee was chairman of the Indian Statistical Institute in Kolkata. He is also the former chairman and president of the Rabindra Bharati University and the Nikhil Bharat Banga Sahitya Semelan, as well as a former trustee of the Bangya Sahitya Parishad and the Bidin Memorial Trust. He has served on the planning board of the Asiatic Society. <laughs> president of India Mukherjee was nominated as the presidential candidate of the United Progressive Alliance on 15 June 2012 after considerable political intrigue. The elections were scheduled to be conducted on 19 July 2012 and the results were expected to be announced on of July 2012. As many as 81 other candidates had filed nominations but the election commission rejected all except that of P. A. Songma, the nominee of the National Democratic Alliance NDA. In order to file his nomination for the presidential poll on 28 June, Mukherjee had resigned from the government on 26 June 2012. In the election, Mukherjee received 713,763 votes, while Songma had 315,987. In his victory speech, delivered outside his residence before the results were officially announced, he said, I would like to express my deep gratitude to all of you who are waiting. The figure has crossed seven locks, only one state remains. The final figure will come from the returning officer. I would like to thank the people of India for electing me to this high office. The enthusiasm, the warmth of the people was remarkable. I have received much more from the people of this country, from the parliament, than I have given. Now I have been entrusted with the responsibility of protecting and defending the constitution as president. I will try and justify the trust of the people. I would like to reciprocate the congratulation Sri Purno Sangma has extended. Mukherjee was sworn in by the Chief Justice of India on 25 July 2012, becoming the first Bengali to hold the post of President of India. After being administered the oath of office, he said we are amidst of Fourth World War of Terror and what minutes of peace can achieve cannot be achieved in many years of war. Congress President Sonia Gandhi and Prime Minister Manmohan Singh both congratulated Pranab Mukherjee on his election as president. Former Communist leader Somnath Chatterjee termed Mukherjee as one of the best parliamentarians and statesmen of India, and said the country has got the most able man for the top job. Opposition leader Sharad Yadav declared, the nation needed a president like Pranab Mukherjee. Delhi Chief Minister Sheila Dixit commented and said Mukherjee will be one of the wisest presidents. She further marveled at the fact that parties in the opposition ranks supported Mukherjee. Even the NDA broke up and wanted to vote for the president to be Pranab Mukherjee. The Bharatiya Janata Party BJP was reportedly shocked and 
upset at the cross voting for Mukherjee by its legislative members. However, the BJP party president Nitin Gudkari congratulated Mukherjee and said, I extend my hearty congratulations to Pranab Mukherjee on his election today as the new president of India. Gudkari further declared, I am sure that the country will make further development and progress. I wish him all success and a bright future. The Z News noted, What is striking about Mukherjee is that after more than four decades in public life, the opposition had no ammunition against him after he was declared UPA's choice for president. In spite of Team Anna making some noise about him being involved in some corruption cases, it has been more or less an easy ride for Pranab to raise a hill. Once when Sonia Gandhi announced his name, most of the allies and the opposition came on board. Whereas, NDA partner J.D. saw no merit in opposing him, one of the bitter critics of the Congress Shiv Sena too towed the line a little too easily. This support was not for Congress but for Mukherjee. Criminal Law Amendment Ordinance, 2013 was promulgated by Pranab Mukherjee on 3 February 2013, which provides for amendment of Indian Penal Code, Indian Evidence Act, and Code of Criminal Procedure, 1973 on laws related to sexual offences. As of July 2015, President Pranab Mukherjee has rejected 24 mercy pleas including that of Yaqub Memon, Ajmal Kassab, Afzal Guru. In January 2017, Mukherjee stated that he would not contest for 2017 presidential elections. The reason he told for this was advanced age and failing health. Topic: <laughs> Personal life. Pranab Mukherjee married Suvra Mukherjee on 13 July 1957. Suvra Mukherjee was born and raised in Narail, Bangladesh. She immigrated to Kolkata while she was 10 and married to Pranab in 1957. The couple had two sons and a daughter. Suvra died on 18 August 2015, aged 74 of heart failure. He is inspired by Deng Xiaoping and has quoted him quite frequently. His hobbies are reading, gardening and music. His elder son, Abhijit Mukherjee, is a Congress MP from Janjapur, West Bengal. He was elected in the Bai polls held after his father vacated the seat. Before his election to Lok Sabha, Abhijit was an MLA from Nalhati in Burbam. His daughter Sharmastha is a Catholic dancer and politician of the Indian National Congress. Mukherjee celebrates the Durga Puja at his ancestral home in Marathi village. He makes it a point to be at Marathi village every year to take part in the four-day rituals, the puja having a social dimension for him. I want to avail this opportunity to be with the people of my area. Mukherjee said during a puja ceremony on 4 October 2011. Topic: <laughs> Honours Mukherjee has received several accolades and honours. Topic. National honours Honoured with the Padma Vibhushan, in 2008 Topic. Foreign honours Bangladesh Liberation War Honour Bangladesh Muktiado Sanmanona, 5 March 2013, Bangladesh Grand Cross of National Order of the Ivory Coast, June 2016, Ivory Coast. Topic: Academic Honors. Hun, Doctor of Letters degree by the University of Wolverhampton, UK, in 2011. Hun, D. Lit by Assam University and Visvesvaraya Technological University in March 2012. Hun.ll.d.by President of Bangladesh and Chancellor M.D. Zillar Rahman at University of Dhaka on March 4, 2013. DCL Doctor of Civil Law Honoris Causa by University of Mauritius on March 13, 2013. Hun, Doctorate by Istanbul University on 5 October 2013. Honorary Doctorate from the University of Calcutta in on 28 November 2014. Hun, Doctorate in Political Science by University of Jordan on of October 2015. Hun, Doctorate by Al-Quds University of Ramallah, Palestine on 13 October 2015. 
Hun, doctorate by Hebrew University of Jerusalem, Israel on 15 October 2015. Hun, doctorate by Kathmandu University, Nepal on 3 November 2016. Hun, doctorate by Goa University on 25 April 2017. D. Lit. Honoris Causa by the Jadaspur University on 24 December 2017. Hun, D. Lit. by the University of Chittagong on 16 January 2018. Other recognition Best Finance Minister in World 1984, according to survey of Euromoney magazine. Finance Minister of Year for Asia, 2010, by Emerging Markets, Daily Newspaper of Record for World Bank and IMF. Finance Minister of Year, 2010, by the Banker. Honorary Citizenship of Abidjan, Republic of Côte d'Ivoire on 15 June 2016. <laughs> <laughs> Offices held Pranab Mukherjee's positions in chronological order Union Minister of Industrial Development 1973-1974 Union Minister of Shipping and Transport 1974 Minister of State for Finance 1974-1975 Union Minister of Revenue and Banking 1975-1977 Treasurer of Congress Party 1978-79 Treasurer of All India Congress Committee 1978-79 Leader of House of Rajya Sabha 1980-85 Union Minister of Commerce and Steel and Mines 1980-1982 Union Minister of Finance 1982-1984 Board of Governors of International Monetary Fund 1982-1985 Board of Governors of World Bank 1982-1985 Board of Governors of Asian Development Bank 1982-1984 Board of Governors of African Development Bank 1982-1985 Union Minister of Commerce and Supply 1984 Chairman, Campaign Committee of Congress I for conducting national elections to Parliament, Indian General Election, 1984, Indian General Election, 1991, Indian General Election, 1996 and Indian General Election, 1998 Chairman of Group of 24 a ministerial group attached to IMF and World Bank, 1984 and 2009-2012 President of State Unit of Congress Party 1985 and 2000-10 Chairman of Economic Advisory Cell of AICC 1987-1989 Die Chairman of Planning Commission 1991-1996 Union Minister of Commerce 1993-1995 Union Minister of External Affairs 1995-1996 President, SAARC Council of Ministers Conference 1995 General Secretary of AICC 1998-1999 Chairman of Central Election Coordination Committee 1999-2012 Leader of House of Lok Sabha 2004-2012 Union Minister of Defense 2004-2006 Union Minister of External Affairs 2006-2009 Union Minister of Finance 2009-2012 President of India the 25th of July 2012 to the 25th of July 2017 Topic <laughs> Books written Midterm poll Beyond Survival Emerging Dimensions of Indian Economy 1984 Off the Track 1987 Saga of Struggle and Sacrifice 1992 Challenges Before the Nation 1992 A Centenary History of the Indian National Congress, Vol. V, Vol. 5, 1964-1984 2011. Congress and the Making of the Indian Nation. 2011. Thoughts and Reflections. 2014. The Dramatic Decade, The Indira Gandhi Years 2014. Selected Speeches, Pranab Mukherjee. 2015 
The Turbulent Years, 1980 to 1996, 2016. The Coalition Years, 1996-2016.